I don't know. I kind of like this angle, but y'all can see that my whole bathroom looks like a beauty supply store. And my hands were shaking up. So let's try really hard. Here, possibly. Okay, it's gonna be this. So let's deep condition my hair while we talk about grad school. Are we excited? This hair actually looks a mess. And it's been straight for like three, maybe four weeks now. So I actually need some tender love and care. I don't know what I'm going to do to it after, but let's stay tuned. Let's get into the video. All right, let's get started for brown. I'm kind of scared to see what this hair is going to look like because I be having like a little PTSD that like anytime you straighten your hair it's going to be heat damage and I really hope that's not my portion but first and foremost I feel like I should be telling y'all about my life so if you don't know I currently attend the university at Buffalo it is my fourth year here that was so chaotic Ah, last semester was my first semester of grad school and I feel like grad school in itself especially like early is a transition you know so this video essentially is going to be surviving grad school a little chit chat while I deep condition my hair and I do want to preface this video by saying that this is specifically like what worked for me um in my life I can't really talk about anybody else um yeah that's that so I think the first thing that I want to touch on while I'm getting ready to saturate my hair with water and hopefully that in itself is not chaotic is coffee and before we get into coffee I just want to say that this is in no particular order this is kind of just like a spitball of what was going on in my life um when I decided to go over this video so before graduate school I was not like an avid coffee drinker. I drank like frappes every now and again from McDonald's like when I was in a mood, but not to stay up and not necessarily to like, you know, for the caffeinated purposes, just because like it tastes good. But when I got to graduate school, I became a coffee girly. I did. And not necessarily like every day but frequent enough literally wow this water is literally running off of the straight hair like it's not even looking see now i'm about to get scared and have to pause let's wet this head first This is quite frankly going to take too long. So I'm about to go and wet my hair in the sink and I'll be back. All right, we are back. That spray bottle was looking like it was about to take me a year and a day and I just don't have the patience. Um, I guess it's gonna be 
I don't even know what I was trying to say. The point of the matter is um coffee. So honestly, coffee, I wouldn't say we go together frail bad, but we go together a little bad. Like no matter what time I went to bed, I was tired. It just was not working. So definitely coffee. Like prior to this, not too much, but then yeah. I feel like I was definitely my best when I had the coffee. Which I feel like brings me to my next point, which is this is like specific to like being in class, but like not being afraid to ask questions because at the end of the day like sometimes they were saying stuff that just didn't make any sense just not at all and i just wasn't getting it or i thought i had it and then maybe i asked the question and i followed up and it was like you kind of got it but not exactly <laughs> and had i gone home thinking either a i had it and then i did it and i wrote that paper and now i need to do it again or b I didn't have it at all and I was discouraged. That would have been a waste of time. So, definitely not being afraid to ask questions, which I feel like is good advice across the board for any part in your college career, not just graduate school, but when you're in those big like lecture halls or whatever, like I'm not asking nobody no questions. Maybe emailing the professor if I was really going through something, but never drastic enough for me to like raise my hand. But in those seminar classes, when there's 12 of us, mm hmm yep, you want to raise that hand right up. Professor, did you mean X, Y, and Z when you said A, B, and C? Yeah, so we're really going to be that. So, that's my life there um and then my next point i think i'm gonna do three while i'm deep conditioning my hair and then the other three when i get out of the shower and i'm pretending to style my hair but my next point is make sure that i was planning accordingly and planning ahead of time because i know for example like i do not have a lot of educational endurance. I've never been like the all-nighter type of girl, stay up in the library type, just no. So whenever I had things due, I used to give myself like an earlier due date. So something is due like on Friday and I would put it in my calendar as due on like Monday or Tuesday. So I gave myself time to like procrastinate or just grace if need be but for the most part i was like getting that stuff done so that i didn't have to like worry about it any further and it was just done and like out of the way and then i left room if i you know was having a bad day and i wanted to go out or anything like that or say i wanted to have a day where i just wasn't doing any work that was perfect because all my work was done so I would definitely, and again, I feel like that's a good tip for college in general, and I kind of wish I used it during undergrad, like maybe I used it my last year of undergrad, and that's why it's like a habit that I have now, but definitely not freshman year, and maybe that's when I needed it, but different topic for a different day, definitely, and... I'm so happy to see how this hair is like curling up and I'm actually obsessed with how it looks like wet because now you're really seeing like the ombre effect which again was not on purpose but my hair kind of does its own thing when it gets in the mood and this time it ate, ate really bad. Okay, my hair is washed now. I have no clue what I want to do to it, but let's prep it <clears throat> and pretend like we know what's going on. So, while we're doing now, we're about to get into the last three points. Scheduling my time. Ooh, this is an actual, like, this is a struggle. But I would say, like, what worked best for me this semester was just being, like, realistic with my time. Like, just because you see free time 
in between your classes does not mean it's free time. Oftentimes, that time was spent taking a nap, if I'm going to be honest. That was not productive time. That was not, oh, let me read this before this class or whatever. Mm -mm. But when I scheduled my time, I put in my calendar when I was working, when I was trying to go to the gym, when I had class and along with like keeping up with like when stuff was due that's where I was like okay like this is working or okay I'm gonna work on this thing tonight because this is going to be an earlier day than most so that was gonna do it for me and it worked out pretty well so hopefully keeping up with it in this semester I'm a little behind schedule because I don't even have a planner, but it's in God's hands now for real. Okay, so now I'm going in with the wild group oil. Really taking it back to the roots. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is the one that I don't like the smell of because there's like two of them. Well, and then I can't smell it, so it's going to have to be that. Hmm. I don't know whatever so moving on I'm over here looking at my iPad don't mind me okay so really giving myself grace I feel like being in grad school a year early like there's a lot of imposter syndrome going on and at some times I feel like it felt like do I even belong here? Like, do I know what's going on for real? Or did I just choose this program? And I'm in my first year of grad school because that's what they said I need to do. But not because I am excelling and achieving way beyond, you know, like any capacity. But once I like, this is definitely the one that I don't like the smell of. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's getting better for me. <laughs> but... There were times where I literally just needed to, like, sit in my car and, like, get a grip. Like, be for real right now, Jessica. Get a grip. So, with everything, just give yourself grace. Like, giving myself grace to, like, mess up. Giving myself grace to, like, not have it all figured out. Not know what's going on. Not want to get out of bed because... I go to school in Buffalo and it's cold outside and I just don't want to do it or it's early morning and maybe I stayed up late working on something because I didn't want to do it today so on and so forth so with that I was saying like it's definitely something that I need to work more on but I started and that was very helpful so I definitely say that well, I really did. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two braids in the front. Okay, I don't like that at all. So let's so maybe put that back. Let me at least pretend like I'm about to make this a little crisp like that. Good enough. So I'm going to do two twists in the front. And then I'm going to do two lazy twists to the back. And it looked cute in my head, so I hope it looks cute out loud. Not out loud, in person. I get the vision though. You know what I'm trying to say. So I decided that I'm going to try TGIN because somebody bought this for me, I think like last year, and I've just never used it, but we're going to use it today, and hopefully, hmm, okay, hopefully it works out well. And while we're styling, we're going to move on to our last point which is making sure that I was taking time out for self-care. So for me, it was literally either 
Wednesdays where this semester like I did not have class but I had work I had worked both of my jobs but I didn't have class or it was the 27th of every month so I had like watched this TikTok and the girl was basically saying like the day that you were born should be looked at as a self-care day so it's born January not me not on my birthday it was born june 27th so every 27th of the month i put in my calendar self-care day because i am a calendar girly so i wanted to make sure that it came up like a reminder or like a notification so i couldn't skip it i had to make sure i checked it off and obviously as the semester grew more hectic it was like doing one thing for self-care or just trying to make like maybe like the first half of the day before I had to go to work or like an hour after I got off of work like self-care where I wasn't doing anything major or anything too high maintenance and I pretty much kept up with it for the majority of the semester obviously some Wednesdays were like busier than others so not that self-care necessarily got neglected but i didn't necessarily do as much as i may have wanted to do and then thursday classes were at 9 a.m so if it didn't get done during the day it wasn't getting done at night because i was not you know staying up any later than i needed to to like get anything done but scheduling self-care definitely helped out a lot this semester because grad school in itself is stressful and as you heard me say it worked two jobs so it's always a lot to do um especially like this semester in particular like I crossed the sorority I'm president of CSA and I work two jobs people always ask like where do you find the time and the answer is I don't that's why we be needing the self-care I think I really like this twisting cream thing i just need it i think it needs oil because it's not as moisturizing as i may have liked it to be but i think it's getting the vision across for real and what was in my head was like a a twist so i wanted it to be like flat twist e kind of vibe everything has been said and done with this semester i really took the time out to like reflect on like what was going on and honestly the reflection was relatively like short but i guess insightful nonetheless i feel like in this semester i learned to like be intentional about everything that i'm doing whether that's simply like waking up early making sure that my work is done or even deciding that i'm not going to do the work for mental health purposes or anything like that and i feel like being intentional also is applicable in like all other areas of my life so not just grad school but i think it's important to have that lesson and have it at the forefront of my mind and I feel like in terms of what I want to do better next semester or like what do I hope to continue and for me I would definitely just say that I need to have more self-discipline like I had enough this semester and I feel like you need it to be in grad school like you need to be disciplined you need to know that like you need to do your work you need to take your notes in those three hour classes but across the board i want to make sure that i have more self-discipline this semester and honestly cheers to my second semester of grad school i'm excited gonna be a good one and happy to be here even though i'll be crying it on up
in those three hour classes but it's okay i know that god got it so with that being said that's it and that's all so i was gonna bother me that's it and that's all and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye